back to Titans All Access. We are now joined by Burke Nihill, who is the team's new president and CEO. Burke, thank you for taking some time to talk with us today. Thank you, Amy. It's great to see you guys. Now, Burke, how would you describe your first month as president and CEO of the Tennessee Titans? It's been great. Uh, unusual uh, with the pandemic, but but it's been great. You know, I, I think like a lot of businesses, uh, we, we've had to adjust, but we've got a great staff and, and they have done some of their best work over the last couple of months. It's required creativity and resilience, but, but they've showed up uh, for sure. The thing I would say though, Amy, and you know this, uh, we, we talk a lot about being a family here at the Titans and we miss each other. Uh, so, so going back to the beginning of May, uh, St. Thomas Sports Park and, and Nissan Stadium were, were almost vacant. And it's been nice the last couple weeks, at least, we've, we've started to be able to open up a little bit. There's a few dozen of us now who are uh, starting to, to come to the office most every day. And, and so it's, it's, it's good to, to see some signs of life. And we have some encouraging signs to, to, to think we'll be able to, to invite more people back all the time. So uh, it's been an unusual first month or so, but it, it has been great. Two years ago, Amy Adams Strunk sat down with Titans players and talked at length about issues of social injustice and how to solve those problems. And from that, the Titans We Stand For initiative came to be. As social injustice is actually the number one topic in our country at this moment, how do the Titans hope that We Stand For can be an even more powerful element at this time when we need it. Community service is, is, is the soul of, of, of our organization. It, it is the, the backbone of our internal culture. It is a, a mission critical business priority for us. And as you point out, uh, social justice has, has been one of the, the leading priorities uh, in our community service efforts. Um, for as long as I've been with the club. We've done some very practical things to, to help use our platform and our influence to, to genuinely make a difference in, in the space of, of social justice. We've had meetings with, uh, with politicians. We've, we've gotten behind uh, educational equity causes. We've had, we've, we've had meetings with uh, the mayor's office and, and police department and, 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 and neighborhood leaders to, to talk about policing. And it's been really good work. And, and, and I think that, that there are changes that have happened in Nashville because of the Titans' uh, influence and platform being put behind some of those causes. Even beyond social justice, though, it's the tornado cleanup. It's, it's, it's helping in, in the, the domestic violence space. Amy's passionate about putting our resources behind uh, things that, that make Nashville a better place to live for the, for the people of Nashville and, and, and the region and, and the state as a whole. Burke, as you take the helm at such a key moment, what would you say is really important for Titans fans to know right now? What would you like to say to them? Mike, I'd say buckle up. I, 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 think, uh, I think the 2020s are setting up to be a really special decade to be a Titans fan. I think if you take the past year on and off the field, 2019 starts off with the, the NFL draft in Nashville, which there's just no argument to, to be had. It was the best NFL draft of all time and then culminates with with an electric run to the AFC championship game and and I, I, I think that was a preview of what is to come for, for the Titans organization and, and, and Titans fan. Amy Adams Strunk has a really big vision for this organization. She has really high expectations for this organization and in and, and the last four or five years you have seen this momentum growing within our organization and, and it's produced great football teams and, and great moments for Titans fans. And, and I, I expect that, that the next several years, it's, it's just gonna continue to, to, to grow and it's gonna be a, a great time to, to, to be a Tennessee Titans fan. Now you said in an interview last month that you're feeling optimistic about football season. Fair to say you still remain optimistic? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think, as Coach Mack might say, I think I think we're gonna play ball this 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 fall. <laughs> it may end up being a, a different feeling uh, uh, season, as so many things uh, feel different about our world uh, during this pandemic. But I, I'm as optimistic as ever that we will, in fact, have an exciting season of Titans football in 2020. Burke, you work with the business side of the Titans and the football side as well. What are the challenges of getting St. Thomas Sports Park ready? hopefully to open for training camp late next month. 
training camp is not like a like a retail store or or a typical office environment. So so in a pandemic, uh, there are unique challenges. There's a lot of moving parts to, to to training camp. There's a lot of activity around the building, outside the building. So we're we're having to to think through a lot to to be sure that our uh, our players and and coaches and staff are safe and, and yet can have a meaningful training camp to to get ready for the football season. We've got a talented team. Our team ops is involved. Our, our facility ops are involved. Our human resources team is working hard to, to be sure that uh, we have all of the infrastructure we need, like thermometers and breaking our, our building apart into, into zones to, to separate the football infrastructure, to keep them isolated and as safe as possible from the rest of the staff. And we're, we're following NFL protocols, which you know, frankly, seem to change just about uh, once a week or so. But it's all uh, important work to be done to be sure that that uh, when the time arrives, we can be welcoming our players back to the building and, and have a meaningful training camp. Burke Nyhill, Titans president and CEO, thank you so much for your time.